What is up, guys? We're on episode number 15, and man, you guys loved these shaders, and so did I. I, I thought these shaders are amazing, so I, I call them graphics and stuff. Um, really, I guess you could say they're shaders, and so I think everything just looks amazing. And so what we got going today is we have to clean all of this out of here. Look at this. So the cows have all this manure and stuff here. We have to come in with a skid loader, and I'm going to just be hauling this over to the manure pit over there. I thought about tractor because tractor will fit in there, but I think skid loaders... Just gonna be easier to like move around stuff so i think that's what we're gonna be doing so i'm gonna go we'll grab the skiddler now i've been looking for this thing and i have no idea where this thing is i have no idea where it... oh man um is it I... see we hauled it here and i left it here yesterday that's the thing and so in here this is where we usually keep all our equipment we got the which i could use this uh case mx 135 loader tractor too i guess it's something i could use but i gotta find the skiddler because i just bought this thing and somebody must have been on the server and moving this thing around. So, I'm just going to go over here. Oh, also, I think we're going to be selling some grain today. And then I want to buy some cows. Now, I'm I, we got to have 100 cows. Right now, we have like 33 cows. Let me show you guys this. I think right now, we have 33 cows or something like that. Wherever this is. um, 38 cows. So, that means we you get 62 more cows. Yeah, so that's going to be a lot of cows. So, I'm thinking of maybe buying a semi. I don't know, though. I feel like it's going to be a lot of cows when you haul over. So maybe a semi. But uh, man, we're going to have to start making some power food too also. And then how are our sheep doing? Sheep are doing good. Okay, so we're good there. Um, but I was thinking about selling some grain also today. Okay, so skid loader. Wherever this thing is. The skid loader. Um, There she is. Oh, okay. They backed her in the shop. It was just right here. Okay, they backed the truck in the shop over here. So we'll unload the skid loader off the trailer quick. How do I get out of my shop? There we go. Nice. Okay, so it was like literally right in front of us. There we go. I'll pull out the, uh, yeah, I'll pull out the F-150. The F-150 was hauling it. It was kind of a lot of weight for my F-150, but she was able to do her. And so we'll put her, uh, for now, I guess we can just, we'll pull it all around here. And I'll just kind of pull off into the grass here and we'll unload it here. This will be perfect. There we go. And so I'm going to show, we're going to make it to this, uh, Squat Tutorials video on how to, uh, how to install these shaders. Because they're awesome shaders and they're, they're pretty easy to get. So I want you guys to all have them too. When you guys play i think it's going to be only for pc though i don't know if you can get these i know yeah you can't get them for xbox one or ps4 i don't think so yeah it's going to be a little tough okay i'm pretty sure that bucket is like locked to uh the trailer i'm really sure it is so we're going to unlock there we go now it's unlocked okay sweet so the 863 bobcat we'll see if we can get this done this will be uh this will be pretty interesting i should probably put the trailer away but we won't do that for now so i'm going to just go start hauling manure Hopefully we can scoop a lot in at once because it's going to be a, like a trip. Maybe we should be using the tractor. I don't know though. We got to get in here. And then I would like to get some type of like, I don't know if this is possible, but some type of like dump trailer or something. So I could load out this manure and then haul it over there. I'm trying to think what would work best. Oh shoot. Maybe like a manure spreader, I guess. But you know what? I don't have any fields right now that we can spread manure on, but we still got to clean this out. So I'm going to go in here and clean this out. Um... I'm gonna turn on. I remember when we were when I was a kid, and I was I always loved uh, helping my uncle and stuff. And what they would do is they'd have, have a bobcat in here because the tractor couldn't fit in here, and then uh, they'd have a tiny bobcat. It was, I I don't even know like it was tiny man, um like a S80 or something like that. And then they'd clean this out, and then they'd have this the tractor just sitting right here with a big bucket, and then they'd dump it in the big bucket of the tractor, and the tractor would just run and go dump it somewhere else. So, but this bobcat's big enough to where it can hold, and we can we can run away. Okay, we gotta watch out for these cows too. We do not want to get smashed by the cows, and we don't want to hit them, too. Okay. Oh, so this holds, like, point... N oh, dude. Oh, this might be too much for the bobcat. Oh, she's tipping a little bit. Oh, man. This might be... I got to lower it to the ground so we can actually handle this. Oh, we're kind of going everywhere, but it's, it's fine. Um, Maybe... Okay, how much is the... Shoot, I should probably check to see how much the tractor holds, because the tractor might not be a bad idea. I don't know, though. Okay, maybe I'll make a big pile out here for now. I'll just scoop it all out, make a big pile, and then haul it with the tractor. That might be easier. There we go. Okay, we're just spreading manure all over the place. I don't know, man. This might be too many, like, trips back and forth. But I think that's what we'll do for now. Or, oh, what I should do is I should just lift it and toss it over here. Well, it would kind of go in their feed bunk. But I could toss it over here, and then I could just come in with a tractor and scoop it up. That wouldn't be bad either. But for now, I'll just make a big pile right there since we've already started. And there's not too much manure. So it's kind of cool around these two. <laughs> yeah. Picking up some manure, baby. We got a full load already. Okay, I do not want to tip the bobcat. Get out of the way, Cal. What's her horn like? 
There we go, dude. Oh, man. I just can't get over it. The graphics just look sweet. Boys, if you're enjoying this, smash that like button, by the way. Okay, so right now, as I'm as I'm posting this video, I'm probably on Ragbrite. It's a bike ride across Iowa. And so I'm not sure what tomorrow's video is going to be. I'll have one made. I'm not, I have no idea what tomorrow's video is going to be. Oh, man, we're tipping. This bobcat, it needs a rear, rear weight on the back. That's all she needs. She just needs a nice weight on the back. It would be good. Okay. We're back out of here. I got to get quick with this bobcat. We got to get quick. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. You guys like first person or third person? I'm going to do third person for this. it would be a little easier. But when we're in the shed, sometimes it is easier to do uh, first person. There we go. And we're full. <laughs> Dude, we fill up so quick with this. Okay, watch out, man. Oh, man, we're hitting the we're hitting the cow already. Okay, so we'll make another pile right here. And then hopefully the uh, bucket on the skid loader or on the tractor will hold a lot more. That'd be nice if it does. There we go. Tip this out, make her a big pile over here. Kind of Yeah, we're kind of just spreading manure all over the place. And I'll back out here. Dude, it's tough when you have cows just going in and out all the time. I don't want to run them over. Here we go. We'll go around them. Okay. Now I'm just try, gonna try to get most of this manure cleaned out because this this is this is getting bad. This is kind of a lot of manure. Come on, keep going. Okay, there we go. We're full. Oh, dude, this little bucket doesn't hold too much. Maybe I need the big cat skid letter or something. Cause this this oh, this bobcat's pretty nice though too. I feel like most farmers have a bobcat just like this, 863. It's a little older model. I guess I guess I shouldn't I shouldn't say that because I mean every uh, farmer has a different style skid letter. I should say. But I feel like I've seen these a lot. I feel like a lot of people use bobcats for livestock farms. I don't know. Maybe that's uh, too much generalizing. But uh, we'll just put this over here. And then, oh, how many? Okay, so what are you guys thinking? Like five more scoops? Okay, dude, watch out. Get out of the way. There we go. <laughs> it is kind of messy in here. It is definitely pretty messy. There we go. We're full. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I wonder what happened, though, if I dropped it over the edge there into their, their feeding trough. I probably don't want to be feeding them the crap. Okay, we'll make the turn here. I like how these can turn just so easily, too. It's kind of nice. Oh, look at that balance. You see, there's so much weight in the front. Oh, man, that was just balancing perfect. There we go. We'll get out of here. Now, man, I really hope that tractor holds a lot of, uh, can hold a lot in its bucket. I really hope it does. Okay, we'll lower this. Oh, no. Oh, man. See, the couch is going right through me. There we go. What? We're... K99. There we go. We'll get out of here. But this is what most people do in real life. So it's kind of cool that you actually have to do this compared to just like it automatically piles in a pit or something like that, you know? It's kind of nice that we have to do this. We should clean it up. One thing I got to come through is clean up that straw, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we got to clean up some of that. How clean is this getting, too? We got to check how clean this is getting. Oh, it says it's 100% clean. Oh. Okay. So maybe we don't have to clean out. I don't know. I guess I don't know if we have to clean out the manure or what. <laughs> Just getting the cows out of the way. Dude, you know what would be cool is if you had to, if you hit your horn in the game and then they moved. Okay, I'm just kind of going through it, dude. <gasps> oh. There we go. We'll go through this. Man, we already got a full load. Okay, we'll back out. It's going to be a lot of loads. Oh, I hate have, running over all these cows. There we go. Now we'll whip around here. Make a big pile out here. And then I got to grab that tractor. It should be... Man, I cannot... It's tough to steer. You have so much weight in the front. Oh, come on. Okay, we're just getting stuck here. Back her up. Oh, look at this. Skid letter tricks. Am I just balancing right here? I feel like I was just balancing right there. Okay, just start dumping. Start dumping. There we go. Nice. Perfect. She dumped all the way out. And then we will... Uh, We'll back up and then, okay, how many more is it going to be? How many more loads is this going to be? One thing about this shader is everything's so bright. I like it. Like, it seems like everything is so bright. And, like, you can see so good. So clear. There we go. Um, okay, wow. Oh, we already got a full load doing that. Oh, wait, is that a gate? Oh, I was like, oh, is that a gate? Because I could put my skid loader. They need, oh, no way. Dude, I don't know if this is going to work, but this could be really sweet. It's going to be tight, though. We'll see. We'll see if I can fit my skid loader. Oh, man. We're so close to fitting it through the door. That would be awesome because the manure pitch is right over there. Okay, we'll close the door for now. But, man, if it just barely fit, that would be sweet. Okay, so we got to go out this way. 
Here we go. Oh, dude, we were just tipping. Let's get out of the way quick. Oh, man. I'm blocking the gate now. Now he's going to go through me. Oh. There we go. I'm trying to avoid the cows as best as possible, guys. There we go. We'll just make one big pile here. I need to turn my mouse, mouse sensitivity up, though, too. Oh, man. I already got 7% and I didn't dump it out all the way. Or, like, I scooped it back up when I was going. Okay, so we'll go down here and then pick up Oh, yeah, see, oh, that's kind of cool out of the cows. See, the cows are, like, tripping over this stuff. That's what that's what Nick was saying. The cows just trip over this stuff. There we go. We're getting their cell more cleaned out. I feel like I need a bigger bucket, but then if I get a bigger bucket, this thing's not going to be able to handle a bigger bucket at all. There we go. Dude, if I had the steering wheel, this would be so tough. Oh, man, I can't even imagine what this. Oh, don't tip, don't tip, don't tip. There we go. Just making one big pile. Okay, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. And then I'll be running back and forth with the tractor the whole time. It'd be nice if I had two different people. What does that say on the bucket? Oh, I thought that said YouTube on the bucket. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, there's a lot of manure underneath this straw, too, it looks like. Because I just picked a lot up from there. <laughs> it's just kind of tough getting back and forth through here. Oh, man. Okay, we got to back up out of here. I just keep hitting the edges. I get caught on the edges. It's tough steering when you have all this weight in the front, too. It, like, wants to tip, and it really wants to steer one way once we get going, you know? There we go. I like when you climb up on the hill because there's so much... When you have so much weight in the front, it's easy to dump when you're angled up on the hill like this. Otherwise, we'd be probably tipping forward and stuff. But this bobcat, it's smooth. It's nice through here. I can control it pretty well, but when you get a when you get a full load of manure in the front, it does get a little tough. Oh, wait. Don't they have manure forks? Or manure, uh, sorry, not manure forks. That's the, definitely the wrong term. But, oh, I think they have, um, where is this at? Manure fork. <laughs> right term. Okay. 60, 60.04, uh, that's how much, I guess, cubic area it can hold. So if we go to the bucket over here. Okay, the bucket holds more. So we might as well go with the bucket. You don't even want the manure forks. Yeah, bucket's going to be, kinda, bucket's definitely going to be better. Okay, I'm going to clean up this little stuff through here because I can definitely tell there's some stuff in here yet. See, watch. Like, when I put her down, they'll probably... Oh, maybe not. There we go. Now we're full. we got a big pile of just right over here. And we should be close. See, there's some right here we're going over. We keep driving over. So, yeah, there's still definitely some over there. There we go. That was actually one of my smoothest passes yet. We didn't hit anything. It was nice. We were quick. Oh, I hate when this starts tipping like that. There we go. Now we'll tip down there. Okay, we'll back out of here. <laughs> this is just, I don't know, everything is just so realistic here. Now, maybe we should get two skid loaders going. Nah, probably not. We could probably get a tractor and a skid loader going, though. Yeah, you can definitely tell there's some stuff. I'm still driving over here. Okay, watch out. There we go. Dude, this is, okay, watch. Okay, we got to go around these cows. Come on, boys. Get out of the way. <laughs> okay, do we have to? Okay, we're gonna have to spin around. Come on, get going, get going. There we go, now they're going. Okay, now we can get out of here. There we go, dude. Oh, okay, let's go around here and then we can uh, go up here and dump it. Hopefully, don't start tipping yet. Don't start tipping, don't start tipping. Now we can start. There we go. Oh, don't start tipping. Nice. There we go, we're just making her one big pile here. <laughs> okay, we'll start putting her down. And then, okay, we got to watch out for all these cows and stuff yet, too. Okay. I, I think I'm just going to... See, there's definitely a lot of manure in here still. Watch. I'll get a full... Look. You can see how much manure is in here still. We just got 65% of stuff we didn't even see. Okay, we got to watch out for this cow. There we go. And now we're at 99% already. So, yeah, we, we did clean up a lot of manure through here, at least. You can tell if it hits a bump, there's still some manure. Okay, that was pretty smooth driving through there. Dang, dude, this is a lot of manure, though. Wow. I'm going to have to get this all cleaned up yet, too. This is going to be a lot. <laughs> kind of takes a while, too. But here you guys go. We're just working away. Maybe maybe I should time... I'll time lapse it once I get to the tractor. Because the tractor is just going to be a ton of manure hauling. There's still some in there. But, you know, it's tough to get it perfect, too. I just want to get the bulk of it cleared out. Oh, look, they got up and moved. They moved right when I hit the horn. They moved a lot faster. Or they're just glitching out over there. 
Dude, this will be fun to actually hunt, spread the manure around the field, since just, just since we have so many cows. Oh, man, we're tipping up in the pile. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe, I won't, maybe I'll wait for these guys to help me out, to haul them out. That way we can have one skid loader run it and one tractor run the full time, too, because we still have a lot of stuff to get done, too. I could just... That probably wasn't the best place to make a big manure pile, too, now that I think of it. Okay, um, two more trips, and we should be good. After this, two more trips. There's still some manure in there. We should be fine. Keep backing up all the way, and then we'll just... Uh, there we go. Dumper. How many trips have we made? Can it, does anybody want to go back and count? I guess. Uh, it's probably it's probably been a lot. Oh, don't tip. There we go. Now we're coming back. Oh, man. There we go. And I want tires just because tires spin so good when everything's all slick and stuff. You want to be able to like spin around real quick and stuff rather than having tracks. I feel like you'd want tires for this uh, type of uh, area, I guess. Oh, what are we hitting over there? There we go. 85%. So, yeah, I'm thinking after this, one more load and we should have this baby all cleared out. This is cool, though, being inside of here and stuff. Okay, oh. There we go. We kind of went through it, but it's fine. And I wonder if I get 100 cows. Dude, we're going to... Oh, man, we're going to have to clean this out so many times. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Okay, we got to start dumping. There we go. Okay. One more load, and we're good. One more load. And then I'm going to go test out the tractor bucket, but I don't think I'll move all of it today yet. There we go. What? We're at 61% there. We'll get this other little stuff here. And then 65%. Okay, we'll clean up some of this over here, and we should be good. Ah, huh. okay, I'm missing it. Hold on. There we go. Now we'll put down the bucket. There we go. Okay, that's it. That's it. I'm not going to get the one around the cow because the cow's kind of in the way over there. So we have 73%. Oh, no, that cow's going to go through me. And then I'll go grab that tractor. Don't tip. We don't have... I don't think we have enough for it to start tipping yet. Maybe once I raise it real high. Start tipping. There we go, dude. This is a big pile of manure. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so for now, I'm just going to put the skid loader right here. Skiddy. We'll just put it right here. And, man, we just have so much stuff to do. I'm going to close this gate. So now the cows are good to go. It's just we have this big manure pile right here, too. Oh, did it go through the manure pile? And so I want to move... move the manure pile all the way over to this like manure pit over here like way over here so let's see i hope the tractor bucket takes out a, just a big scoop that'd be nice um or if we had a wheel loader oh dude wheel loader would be awesome through here it'd be able to hold so much i feel like eventually once we get a hundred cows you might want to get a wheel loader but this bucket's pretty big it should hold a lot Oh, dude, we need to fuel this thing up, too. For now, we're good, but eventually we need to fuel this tractor up. And then I also want to get a load of uh, grain hauled out today. Of corn, most likely, so we got to do that. I guess we need some corn for the cows yet, too. I didn't think about that. Oh, maybe I'll haul one load of corn and one load of wheat. Okay, how much will it fill up? Oh, dude, this doesn't even fill up as much as the skid loader bucket. Wow. <laughs> Dude, because the skid loader bucket was like 0.99 tons. And the tractor bucket's 0.84 tons. It handles it pretty good. But man, we need a bigger bucket on this tractor to be able to haul this stuff out of here. Dang, man. Okay, so yeah, we're only at 8. Oh, sorry about that. But anyways, we're only at 8.84 tons. For the one guy that hates when I say, I, I always say Dane. Okay, we're going to have a big pile in here, though. There we go. We can transfer it pretty fast, though. That's what's that's what's pretty nice, though, I guess. You can transfer it pretty fast to this area. Or we could just make a big manure pile right there. Just leave it there. Uh, probably not. For now, we'll just we'll just transfer it all over here. We're just moving manure just, like, all over the place. And I can move pretty quick with the tractor, too. There we go. We're getting some out of there. Nice. Yeah, when, when I can move pretty quick with the tractor, it's nice. Okay, we'll move around here and then just dump this. Okay, so I don't think we're going to get it all done today, but uh, eventually eventually, I'll get somebody in here and we'll all be around the like skid loader and somebody will be around the tractor or somebody's just going to do it when I'm, not, uh, when I'm not on the server too. But for now, we'll just put that right there. It'll just be one big pile there and that's what we're just going to have to do for the operation until we can start spreading this stuff in the fall or like late winter. 
once we can start really spreading her too. Um, I know we need to start spraying also because, uh, yeah, we definitely need to start spraying. So for now, I'm just going to put the tractor right here and then Skiddler is just going to stay right there and then eventually we'll haul out this big <laughs> manure pile we got going here. Um, I'll shut off this light on the skid letter. Okay, so we gotta we gotta move that yet. That, that's done. I got it all cleared out of the shed though, so that's nice. I want to put this trailer away, and then I want to grab my 8370, take off all the duels, and then uh, hook it up to two gravity wagons. Start going and selling some grain. Okay, so um, where's this trailer gonna go? I think for now, where's my other trailer at? Oh, my other trailer's in this shed way down here, so I'll just put it down here. That'll work out good. So this is a skid letter trailer basically. I could have used a 40 foot trailer, but I want to use my truck and my truck doesn't have a gooseneck. I don't, actually I should test that. Because it has a tonneau cover on there, and maybe it has a gooseneck hiding underneath her. Oh man, we gotta, we gotta back up, we gotta. There we go. Nice, nice, fit her in here. <laughs> Perfect, right there. Okay, so now I want to hook up to this livestock trailer just to see if it has a tonneau cover on it. Or just to see if, if, if my truck has a gooseneck. It doesn't. Okay, yeah. Oh, that would be sweet if it does, though. It, it probably shouldn't be hauling gooseneck stuff anyways. So, for now, we will uh, back the truck up over here. And grab those two gravity wagons. Could we do three gravity wagons, guys? I've seen people do three gravity wagons before, but I feel like it's just a little too much. Doing three gravity wagons. That's a lot of weight. I've thought about it, especially when you have an 8370. Um, 8370, it's got a lot of power, though. Like, it, it would be able to pull it, but it's probably dangerous just going down the road with three gravity wagons. Um, especially fully loaded so and especially like big ones too so for now i th i don't know if i have the duels off on the 8370 we could keep the duels on too but i, I want to take them off going down the road because it's just it's just easier when you're going down the road with it and you don't have duels sticking out the side especially when you're just hauling grain all the time and so it doesn't really need that extra uh traction and compaction compaction uh either what do i say not compaction but uh it doesn't need I guess it's not a field, so it doesn't it doesn't have a lot of weight on the back, and compaction's not an issue. So that's why we can take off the duels, I guess, is what I mean. So, and what's nice is we won't be taking out any cars with the duels, because these are some wild duels on this thing. Okay, so we'll back up, take off all the duels on the 8370, and then pick up those gravity wagons. I love running this tractor. I love it over the 8520 even. Like, this tractor, I gotta get this for the farming tournament. I gotta get a tractor like this. Or maybe like an IRT, but these custom modding, I think this is the creator of this, makes just amazing mods. Okay, so Firestone Row Crop, that's what we want. There we go. So that's what we're going to be running with the two gravity wagons. Fire this baby up, and it's nice that it goes 32 mile an hour down the road. Okay, where's my gravity wagons at? I think they're, oh shoot. Dude, I think they're tucked in here real tight. Oh man, this could be tough to get out. Oh, okay. So, should I just get the red ones out since the red ones are just right here? I hate going red and I like matching colors, but man, there's no need to match colors here. Oh, okay, so. We're going to have to pull both of these out. It's going to be a little tough. Not going to lie, man. Oh, we're so close to being hooked up, too. We got to get over a little bit. Okay. Here we go. So, we're hooked up. I got to make it out of here. This is going to be tough. Especially when you're on the 8R. Oh, wasn't too bad, I guess. Okay, so we got this one out of here. Then I gotta go grab another one quick. We'll unhook this one. Grab the other one. Do you guys think I could run three? I, I'm thinking only two. Two's the probably the best option, just to run two gravity wagons. For now, I'm gonna leave these gravity wagons outside once I'm done, though, because there's no way it's gonna be tough putting these things back here. But that's why we always need that uh, John Deere 730. That thing turns on a dime, and it's so easy to back these gravity wagons in here, and you can turn so easily with that. close we're close boys what oh okay i thought we were real close there we go we got to get over yet a little more make the turn there we go nice okay we got these out so now i just gotta line these up too it's nice when i have the skid loader actually to line these up because the skid loader just push from the back over there but what we'll do is i'll hook up to this one and we'll just back her up There we go, and then, okay, let's see squads back in skills. Oh, nice. There we go. Okay, so now I need to pull, uh, we'll just pull around the other way. 
There we go. We'll pull all the way around here and we'll load these up. Okay, so how much grain do I have? Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Check this out. My grain is okay, so right now, oh beans. We don't even have that many beans. I could haul some corn, but I feel like we'll need corn. I'll haul one load of corn and one load of wheat. Does that sound good? That way we can get a little more money. And then the rest I'm just gonna keep for livestock. I think. So we have one load of corn, one load of wheat is what we'll do. We'll go uh, corn first, or wheat first. Wheat's first. There we go. Nice. Just loading up right here. Dude, everything about this is just so realistic. Look at that. I don't know. Like, every the looks, the graphics. Look at this. There we go. Wheat is about full. Nice. Okay, so now we'll load with corn. How many bushels? Okay, so it holds 679 bushels. Okay, so yeah, we're not taking too much corn away. And we, we'll, we'll definitely have enough left for the cows. We'll be good. There we go. <laughs> dude, Lone Oaks is just awesome. I love I love this map, dude. This is good. Bullet Bill, by the way, is the creator of this map. Did we get her loaded already? Or did it? was it because I stepped away? Oh, okay. She's already loaded. There we go. Time to hit the road. I'm going to turn on my flashers. Can we turn on these two? Yeah, I might as well just brighten everything up. She's pulling. You can definitely tell there's some weight behind here. The 8370, she doesn't get going too too fast. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell there's some weight. So yeah, I think if we ran three gravity wagons, it would be a little tough for the 8370. Okay, so we'll take... Oh wait, shoot. Where are we going to sell this stuff at? So, grain prices. 80 bucks at Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf grain prices are pretty darn... Oh, they're pretty much the same. I guess we could go to Lone Oak or we could, let's see what one's closer. I think they're about the same distance actually. So if we go over here, here's the Lone Wolf, I should say. Yeah. Okay. They're the same difference. We'll go Lone Wolf since we never go out this way. Any cars? Nope. We're good. There we go. And we'll hit the road, road all the way to Lone Wolf. Dude, it's going to be kind of a ways. I think there's, okay. So I was hauling grain in the snow and I think I know what road to take now. So I'll go down, not this next road, but the road after this. And then it takes me, it'll take me all the way to Lone Wolf. That'll be nice. <laughs> I love how this tractor just goes so fast, dude. It just flies. So it's not this road. Well, this isn't even a road. But the, it'll be the next road. That'll be nice. One thing, I wish there was more gravel animations. Like dust animations. Like dust flying behind the gravity wagons and stuff. I feel like that'd be that'd be one thing that they could add in that would be super realistic. If you put like... Uh, gravel animations behind it they start they kind of started doing that too okay so for now we'll take a left hand turn and then run all the way down here i don't know if this is a true road though is it it might be a road i think it's more of a i don't know if i'm supposed to run down this road it's not really a true road so i won't run down it yeah it's definitely it's definitely just for the farmers and stuff so I'll, I'll stay on the roadway we'll just run down here that'll be fine still okay so we're about here i did have to take that roadway because the other roadway was a dirt roadway and it was the end of the map and so i couldn't go all the way down there so oh wait is this a scale oh wait oh that's cool okay so the scale actually works i didn't even see this last time so we're at seventy four thousand eight hundred fifty three. does it have a scale when i'm going back though it doesn't so i definitely want to pull around the scale and just check it again just to see the weight so we're at seventy four thousand 853 remember that so 75,000 we'll just round it off to 75,000 so we'll drive here we'll unload and then I want to pull through that scale again usually they have to do a test for moisture and stuff too so I don't know where I think there was an arm somewhere over there that would check for moisture um, but for now we will unload this where we unload first wheat okay here we go we got Ooh, what's she gonna be at what's she gonna be at Oh, it doesn't okay eventually it'll say there we go I guess I didn't even look at the beginning what we had for the beginning I guess I could check finances yeah I could always check finances and see the amount of money amount of grain we sold there we go um is it gonna come through I don't want it to come through while we're not looking so I'll check finances just real quick that's kind of cool so uh where's this at new livestock we got a property income Harvest income? Is it harvest income? Yeah. So thirty-two thousand dollars is what we got today. Sweet. There we go. Thirty-two thousand. Okay, so now I want to pull through that scale again. So I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to do it this way, but I'm gonna do it this way. 
So we're going to just drive all the way around here. Whip around here. Um, we might just go through this. I think this is where they test for moisture. Right here. But I, I don't really need to pull through here. I will still though. And then now I want to jump on that scale over here. And then see what's at. I'm, yeah, I'm really sure you don't, you never, you're not supposed to pull through this way. But it's fine. Okay, so now what are we at for weight? I was at 75,000 last time. Not all my gravity wagons are on there too. I totally forgot that. 32,000. Oh, so that's super realistic, actually, though. Like, you can tell we load, unload all the grain. Um, besides, part of my gravity wagon's not even on the scale, but, dude, that's sweet. Okay, so now we will head back there and... Okay, uh, shoot. We're going to take this road just straight across here. This road just right around the field once we can get a gap to shoot. Uh, I don't think we can go yet. Yeah, we got to wait for that traffic. There's two cars coming. It would be... I mean, we probably could have made it. Oh, dude, okay, we got to shoot this gap, man. We gotta shoot this gap. Oh. Come on. There we go. Okay, we're going. Oh, that was... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Don't go in the fence. There we go. We made her. Oh, that was crazy. Just trying to get across there. Now, I'll throw on cruise control. We'll just book it on back to the farm. Okay, we're making her back. Just making the turn. And I think right now, we'll probably just leave the gravity wagons outside. Let me turn off all my lights. There we go. Now that we're back. Yeah, I'm just going to leave the gravity wagons outside for now because we'll be hauling more grain soon. And wheat harvest is coming up soon. Um, also, uh, Nick was wanting me to upgrade combine. Now, I don't know. I like my combine. I really do. So maybe we'll just go with, like, a, get another case combine or something. Because I want to keep that. I love that combine. That was an awesome combine. So for now, I'm going to throw the gravity wagons just right over here. we got to get that big mixer out. we got to start mixing that stuff up. I'm just... I'm just oh, wait. Okay, so we, do we have silage over here? I also got to check that out. So silage... I'm pretty sure this is silage, or is it chaff? It could be chaff. Um, oh, dude, they, they uh, threw some grass overboard <laughs> over there. Pretty sure this might be... Oh, it's still compacting. Oh, was, okay, so it's still it's chaff. But they need to compact this a little more, more yet, it looks like. So it's at 25%. Dude, that's what we should do. We should start compacting this. Maybe that's what I will do. Um, okay, so we don't have duels on the... I'll put this tractor back, since we have duels on the, all, on the other tractor. Maybe I'll just run her over and compact it all the way for these guys. And then throw a cover on it. And we should be good to go, I'm thinking. Because all they need to do is just compact it. And I don't think they've done that yet. But for now, I'll pull this tractor around. Yeah, and we have all duels on that tractor. Oh, dude, I could throw triples if I really want to compact her down. But we don't really need triples, I'm, I'm not thinking. I would like to throw... I would like to use this for a compacting tractor. But this tractor gets the job done, too. Um, you can put a blade on this tractor, which is nice. So, the 9570 STS, I want to keep this combine. It was a nice combine. And so maybe I'll just get another combine. That's what we'll do. 8530 over here. We're just gonna we're just gonna compact it down. Now hopefully it'll compact fast. I, it's got enough weight, it should be able to compact pretty fast. Okay. Pull up here. It might be a little sketchy because it's not really uh, organized too well. It's at 26%. 27%. I don't want to get this stuck though. I do not want to get the 85, 20, 28%. <laughs> Dude, this is just, this is kind of sketchy for a tractor like this. The way they like put this down, I probably need to put the blade on her. Okay, she's at 30%. It's going to be a lot of compacting, but eventually we'll get her. There we go. It's getting flatter though. That's kind of nice. There we go. It's definitely compacting down. 34%. I should probably move some of this over and push it over to the side and stuff. We're making a nice little rampway down and up this, though. Nice. There we go. I actually have a uh, picture just like this on my uh, Instagram of a, a friend doing the exact same tr thing. I don't think it's compacting silage. Just like corn. Pretty sure it was... Or not corn, but uh, he was compacting something else. And so, like, it was, it was literally the exact same tractor, I think. I don't know if it was 8520. It might have been 8520. Even. I have a picture on my Instagram just like this. Now that I think of it. The so 42%. Oh, are we stuck? Come on. Get out of there. Nice. There we go. I wish you could change tractors to two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. Put them in two-wheel drive until you get stuck. And then you can switch in four-wheel drive. And everything just works nice. She just crawls out of there, you know? That'd be sweet if eventually we could do that. So, what are we at right now? It's... It's actually compacting in here real nice. Oh, the, you can see the edge is off a little bit there. <laughs> Look at that. We're at 48%. Oh, is this where we got stuck? Oh, shoot. Is this where we get stuck at? Oh, wait, no. There we go. I think I was just going forward there. 
49 percent close to 50 50 percent nice what was it had before like 25 percent i wonder if i put triples what would happen there we go now we'll just back down her deal i should probably get this blade to kind of move the silage over a little more oh you know what i think they're waiting until they get more silage to fully compact it too for sure they're waiting until they get more grass maybe we should wait i won't compact it all the way yeah i'll wait i'll wait to compact it a little bit the 8520 just going down here or or i could get the other tractor and we could just compact maybe i'll just compact it all the way we're at 60 percent already so i'll just compact it all the way okay so we're at 80 86 percent right now and what i'm going to do is have, I, okay, well, I thought at first I was going to pack it all the way, but then again, I remember Nick saying they were wanting more to, like, officially make it silage and then put the blanket over it. So I'm going to wait till they get get more on here because I don't want to screw it up yet. And we still have another cutting of hay probably before we even get harvested anything else. So we'll wait till we get a little more. Um, maybe we'll get the other tractor out too, and we'll throw on all duels on that. And that Oh, or the International. The International would be a great tractor uh, to compact it down too. So maybe we could get the International out or the 8370R over there. Um, as for the manure pile, we still have to, uh, yeah, but that thing, uh, okay, so I'm going to have to get, I don't know, maybe we'll get a wheel loader. I don't think we need a wheel loader. I don't, I don't think we need to invest that much in new equipment. We are going to get like more than double the cows. I still have to buy a lot more cows. So we got to get that home process down too, which means I may have to buy a semi. Oh man, there's just so much to buy and stuff. So for now guys, this will be the end of the episode. We kind of got a lot done today. We did a lot of, a lot of different stuff. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the episode, smash that like button, boys, and I will see you guys later. Thanks, guys.